how did I get started in this business? So a lot of people ask me, how did I get started in providing coursework? Most architects don't offer online courses. So how did I get started in providing online courses? Well, I spent the first 25 years of my professional life working with large scale developers and national brands that roll out 20, 30 locations every year. And they really understood the process and there was no need to really, and there was no need to communicate what steps needed to happen next. Everybody was in the real estate and property development industry, had been for many years, and we all knew what role we played and what the process was. Then in 2011, I switched gears and started working with small business owners, and I found a really huge disconnect between what a small business owner knows about the real estate process and what the larger scale developers knew. And over the years, I started creating small snippet videos, explaining to my own personal clients what the next steps were going to be, um, how much a typical project was gonna cost for them, and explaining just the entire process from start to finish, little bits at a time. I realized that this was really valuable information whenever my peers, my architectural peers started complaining about their clients not understanding the process either. But the reality is as an architect, you don't have, it's not that we don't have enough time to explain this process to our clients. It's that our time is too valuable. And if we spend one-on-one -on -one time explaining this to each individual client, then that takes away from the time we spend designing the building. And it also really racks up a big bill for a client. So by recording this information and offering it to the public as online courses that they can just purchase on demand, it allows small business owners and first time developers and anybody that wants to learn the process and just educate themselves. It allows you to learn this information without incurring the cost of an hourly rate for an architect to sit down and tell you all about it. Um, so this is the most efficient way that we've found to do it. And it's really been helpful for so many people. And I just want to educate. Um, I found that most conflicts happen with clients is because their lack of education and the designer or the engineer not having the time to really sit down and walk through what the expectations are. So this really helps clear that up. And it also, and also coming from a third party, unbiased person, you know that the information you're getting isn't skewed one way or another. If I tell you that zoning is gonna take you three to four months, you don't have to worry about if, if I have any, um, you don't have to worry about if I have any conflict in that information. You don't have to worry about, is it just that I'm slow as an architect, or is it that my project list is too full and I'm stalling on you? Um, as a third party unbiased person in your project, you really get um, you really get the straight shot information. You don't get any skewed information about your contractor or your designers. I tell you exactly what the industry standard is. Um, there's always variations according to jurisdictions and according to project type and complexity. But overall, the rule of thumbs that I give you and the guidance I give you is specific enough that you know whether or not your team is working effectively together, but it also is realistic and can set that expectation up for you perfectly.